Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're doing a 20 minute jump rope and dumbbell workout. All right guys, so a couple things before we get into the workout. First of all, we've been getting a lot of comments on our YouTube channel to make another dumbbell and jump rope workout. We've made one or two in the past, but like I said, we've been getting asked by you guys. Plus I've been wanting to make more content like this, adding dumbbells, kettlebells, and things like that to the Jarity app. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. It's 20 minutes long. Don't mind the kind of messed up studio I have here. Had some flooding, getting some renovation done to the studio. So for this workout, I'm using the Get Lean set, the quarter pound and the half pound from Crossrope. It's the best jump rope set that you're gonna find on the internet for weight loss and fitness. That's linked up below. You can get 15% off if you enter code do the thing at checkout. Before we start, I just wanna remind you guys, be cautious of the weight that you're picking to do this. Unfortunately, I only have 15s and 25s. I'm hopefully soon getting more options and more weights to do these workouts, but don't pick a weight that's too heavy because the durations are gonna be 30 seconds long and you wanna make sure that it's challenging, but it's not too light and too easy. And you're also not injuring yourself or you're sacrificing your form because the weight is too heavy. So pick something in the middle. All right, guys, without further ado, grab your ropes, get your dumbbells. Let's do the thing. All right, guys, let's get into the workout. A little freestyle, boxer skip, just trying to Continued. I did a little bit of a warm up and a stretch before this, so make sure you do that because you definitely want to warm up before you do something like dumbbells. But yeah, these freestyle, I'm kind of just focused on getting after it. You know, I might do some little hops here and there, might go straight boxer skip, might also just go regular bounce. Just follow along with me as best you can. We got side shoulder raises next. Here we go. Grab your dumbbells. This is going to be. A little bit difficult. Okay, here we go. So, starting off with side shoulder raises. I'm doing one at a time, keeping my core nice and tight. Do as many as you can. This is just enough for me where it's challenging. It's not too light, but it's also not too heavy. I can keep that good form. Come on. If you need to take a little rest, that's okay. But push yourself. Good guys. Boxer skip, freestyle again next. All right, weights down. Gonna go with the half pound for this next one. Three, two, one, good. Yeah, so my place flooded and uh, they had to rip out all the drywall. There's mold. So this is the JRD studio right now. Keep going guys, come on. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Good, let's go single leg alternating next. Single leg alternating. If you can't do some of these moves, go ahead and just do regular bounce. Here we go, right leg. Nice and low to the ground, see how my toes are barely coming off the ground here. Left leg. Good, come on. Right leg. Left. We got bicep curls next. Right. And left. Good guys, rubs down. <laughs> Biceps, getting jacked today. Form is very important with this one. Try to be straight up, core tight. Come down and curl on the way up. Again, get as many of these as you can. I'm using the 25 pounders. I've also started getting back into my dumbbell weightlifting journey. Not too hardcore, but just kind of easing back into it. Good. Everybody get your quarter pound rope. Let's go fast skip, here we go. But yeah, I uh, come from a background of playing American football, so 
my whole life. Weightlifting was a huge part of my life. Um, and I stopped for a long time, just no real reason, just wanted to do more body weight stuff. And now I'm kind of working in a combination of both because both can be good and you don't need one or the other necessarily. Good guys. With that half pound, let's go boxer skip freestyle again. And then we're gonna finish with front shoulder raises. Here we go. Keep going. Good. See how my wrists are facing out? You should definitely feel this in your shoulders because we're doing a lot of shoulder dumbbell exercises. Come on. Just want you moving your body. This whole workout, stick with me, let's go. And as always, don't worry about mess ups. One, good. Front shoulder raises. <coughs> Do these nice and slow or as slow as you can. You don't wanna be tweaking your arms and trying to go super fast. Check this out. One, down to my side. Two, three. Nice and controlled. Four, see from the side. Five. Not really going for a specific rep here. Just going for the 30 seconds. When I raise up, I like to go a little bit fast, higher than 90 degrees. Next set. Boxer, boxer freestyle. Here we go, guys. Set number two. One thing that I've been trying to focus on more with this channel, with jump rope in general, is finding your flow. Whether that means doing a lot of tricks or just doing basic bounce, finding your flow is the beautiful part about jump rope. Just locking in and having your feet perfectly match that rhythm. Good guys. Dumbbells, side raises. That's what jump rope is about. Finding a tool that you can get into a little flow state and do your thing. Here we go. Remember, slow on the way up and down. Well, sorry, slower on the way down, but controlled the whole way throughout. Good, I'll turn to the side so you guys can see. Trying to bring this up to my side as much as I can. Six. Good, guys. Great work so far. Let's get after it. Good. That half pound. Not gonna lie, I kinda I like this. Boxer freestyle, here we go. With the half. Do a little lazy, lazy side step. We'll run in place, keep it moving. Come on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good guys. Quarter pound. Let's go single leg, okay? Three, two, one. Start on the right leg. Good. Left. <laughs> right. 
left. Beginners, if you need to learn how to jump rope, sorry, I'll wait. Right, I'll just wait a sec. Left. Bicep curls. My beginners, if you are brand new to jump rope and you need to get started, we have a great, easy to follow seven day challenge on our website, jumpropedudes.com. So the first thing you see, all you do is enter your email and you'll be directed to the challenge, it teaches you how to jump rope, the basics, gives you some workouts. It's a good like crash course. Good. Remember, there we go. Good job guys. Get that half again. Half pounder. Let's go fast skip, fast skip. Now, each of these circuits, they're not exactly the same. I'm mixing it up a little bit, so just pay attention. Fast skip. But yeah, seven day challenge is great for getting acquainted with jump rope, acquainted with the jump rope dude philosophy of how we work out. Two, one, good guy. All right. Let's do a light, <laughs> a light sprint in place. Check me out, very low to the ground here. See that? Little taps. Pick up the speed. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, also check out our new jump rope mats. We just released these new bad boys that I'm jumping on. Uh, our new addition with cross rope. So that's also linked up. Good guys, front shoulder raises last. But yeah, pretty psyched. I love these jump rope mats. And I like the new cool design with the JRD colors. Front, come on. Workout's moving fast. Try to also, I'm not leaning forward and back. I'm trying to stay core tight, as stationary as possible. Good. Good guys. guys third set let's go fast skip fast skip if you need tutorials on this we do have tutorials playlist but we need to add some more to be honest just flowing that's all i want you to focus on flowing three two one, good, side raises. Or no, yeah. <coughs> Here we go. And also, yes, I'm aware that I have scoliosis in my shoulders, something like this. So I try to keep my form as on point and straight as I can, knowing full well that my left side looks a little bit different than my right side. As long as you're aware where your blind spots are, or where your misalignment is, and you're actively working to correct it, that's the best you can do. 
but you gotta be aware of it first. Here we go. Boxer skip. Freestyle with the half crown. Here we go, come on. A little single leg. A little left leg. Good, keep it moving. Come on. Two, one. Done, good. Single leg. Single, actually no, let's go double tap. Double tap, so this is double tap. Tap, 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 tap. You switch every two. Tap, tap. It's kind of like run in place, but it's two taps. See? Three, four, five, four, two, one. Good, guys. We got biceps. Biceps, baby. Here we go. Make sure you are going Intense. I want you guys to leave this workout feeling like you got something done. If you got to repeat this circuit and do another whole round, like another whole 20 minutes, do it. But no matter how much time you're doing it for, I want you to be sweaty. Good. <coughs> Good. Freestyle, guys, freestyle. Go ahead and start without me. A little lazy. Toe tap. All right, there we go. Back to lazy. Boxer skip. Four, three, two, one, great work guys, here we go. Tiny sprint, run in place, but try to keep your feet, like I was saying, pretty low to the ground. And then we got front raises to finish, here we go, come on. See, check out my feet. So your wrists have to be spinning fast. Your wrist is allowing the rope to spin fast, keeping it tight. You see how my steps are nice and tiny? Is little. Come on, speed up. Speed up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good guy. Whew. We're flying. Front raises. Flying. Here we go. Come on. Slow and control. Flex that abs. You don't want your torso just dangling everywhere. That's how you get injured. You want to be nice and tight. Standing straight up, looking straight ahead. Good work, guys.
Last set, guys. Let's get after it. Boxer freestyle. Boxer freestyle. Come on. Just flowing up on the toes. Core is tight. Shoulder blades are back. Eyes are straight forward. Come on. Your wrists are what's doing most of the work. Remember that. My feet are barely coming off the ground, but you're not gonna be able to spin the rope fast if you're going like this. The rope has to be tight in here, spinning around. Side raises, let's go. Good, half pounder. Good, let's hit a little three or four step. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I saw Muhammad Ali used to do this a lot where he would just, it's like an extended boxer skip almost. Feels good. Come on. Good. <laughs> single leg. Let's go single leg. Right, here we go. Come on. And go ahead. Left leg. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Good, bicep. And if you're like on the road, but you don't have access to a gym or dumbbells, you could substitute this for like pull-ups and push-ups. Obviously, bicep curls, substitute pull-ups, shoulder raises, you could do push-ups. Good, guys. Come on, push through. Last circuit. Unless you're repeating. One more, come on. Good, great work. Get the half pound, if you got one, it's gonna go boxer freestyle again. Boxer freestyle, here we go. Look at my back. I'm not hunched over like this. I'm looking <laughs> straight forward. Okay. Here we go. Great work today, guys. Two, one, done, good. The half pound. Let's go run in place. So the last jump rope part, then we got front raises, and that's it, come on. Pick up the pace. Come on. Finish strong. If you mess up, get right back to it. Two, one, God. Man. Last exercise, guys. Front raises. Front raises, check them out from this side. Here we go, keep that core tight.
great work today, guys. Like I said, repeat this if you need to get a longer workout. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned. That's it. Be sure to stay tuned. Check out the rest of the channel for more workouts, tutorials, and see you on the next video.